Hello, I'm Rusty from Rusty Zone. I'm a YouTube creator and startup founder. Now, have you ever needed to edit a PDF? I have a number of times, and to be honest, I can feel your pain. But one thing I've been using a lot recently is PDF Element, which makes it a lot easier to just open up a PDF file you've made in the past and make quick changes. I'll show you how you can do this right away. So here's a PDF file I've opened up in here from one of my courses that I've created. Now, to edit the text, all you need to do is click on the uh, text button in the corner here. And when you click this, it converts all of the different parts of the, the PDF into elements. So say I wanted to change this uh, line of text just here, I can just click on it and then start typing. So if I uh, focus this part just here and I'll say string mentioned um, again in the video, or, or I probably wouldn't change it just like that, but you can see there. And then if I click this button again, it then sets it back into that state. So you can easily go in and make these changes. Now, if you wanted, you can add extra text boxes as well by clicking the uh, markup button up here and then create a new text uh, boxes up here. So you can easily add more to your, your PDF files. Another useful feature is the ability to actually convert files. So let's say that I have this file here that's a, a PDF and I want to change it into something else. Now there's a number of different ways you can do this. I can go to file up here and say export to you can choose from any of these different options. So I could change it to a pages uh, page. I change it even to an HTML uh, document. So it generates it into code and Word, PowerPoint, etc. So you can do it really easily. Also, you can go down to the tool button down here and click on PDF converter. So say you've got a lot of different PDF files you want to use. You can just drag them in just here and then convert this into these formats as well. So that's really handy. So you can convert different files as you go. So whilst we're looking into PDF Element, one feature that I found that's been really useful a number of times is whenever you make a, a proposal, say for a new project or you're sort of sending a, a quote to a company and you've made this proposal document and you've saved the PDF file and you realize that the file size is massive. So you need to actually try and compress this file down. Well, there's a few features in here that can really help. So again, we go to file up here and you want to, um, change to save as other and click on this optimize PDF uh, option just here. And when you click on that, you can choose how much you want to compress the file down. So as I change this over here, you can see that it's gonna tell, um, tell me exactly what it's gonna change the file size to and the actual percentage reduction of this file size as well. So again, this file is quite small, so you can't see the, the power of it just here. But if this was a larger file, say with images and things on there, it would really start to show um, a really good saving there. So that's one way you can really compress your files down, but still keep a really good quality size to it as well. Encryption is something that is more and more important as people start to you know, share documents around like they have. Um, and in PDF element, you can easily um, add this extra layer of security to your documents. So again, all we need to do is go up to file, hover over protect just here. And then what I like to do is use a password. So I can just click on encryptive password just here. And then there's a number of different options. So you can have the basic um, password for your document. So you can just type in your, your password just here, select the level of encryption you want to use, and then just click OK. But if you want, you can actually limit the editing options of the document as well. So if I added a password to the permissions just here, you can choose whether they can print it, if changes are allowed, all from within PDF element. Okay, so finally, one last feature I want to show you is uh, something that people do all the time with PDFs and that's adding your signature. So if I click on uh, markup up here and go to this last option, you can see that I can use my signature. Now, the first time you use this, you'll be shown this page just here. So you can actually add in your signature. So if I just write my name in here like that, and if I just click done, I can then choose where I want my signature to appear, you know, adjust the size like that and you have a really sharp looking signature you can add into your, your documents and your contracts that you're signing. And then one cool thing with this, if I go back to the signature button at the top here, you can see it saved my signature that I've written so I don't have to create it every single time. Okay, so thanks for watching and remember, however you PDF, own it.